hey guys welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe i want to show you how i made this crop top uh this crop top i decided to make it to, to my waist level and, and so you can also make yours to maybe above your belly or to your waist level but i decided to make it to my waist level so please keep on watching and see how i make this crop top hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video in this video i will be showing you how i'm going to use make use of this pattern paper to make a crop top and i'll be using this pattern paper i'll be using this i'll be using my scissors and i'll be using my tape make sure so let's get started so on my pattern paper here, sorry, it's, it's all keep folding up. Um, the horizontal measurement I have here, where's my tape? Sorry, I keep messing up my tape measure. Okay. From this place to here is fourteen. Okay. So on my my fabric unfold here. My fabric on fold here is, I think I made it 15 or 15 and a half. So I'll adjust it here. Adjust it a little bit. Because I don't like to waste fabric. Trust me, guys. So. So my fabric here is on fold. And on fold, what I have here is the total is on fold 15. So what I'm going to do here is to arrange my pattern paper like this and pin it to it and cut it so now that i've pinned my my pattern paper to my fabric the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to cut from this place this place this place this place this place to this place i've cut it i'm going to take out my pins I've cut the back so I'll just take off the pin but for the sleeve as well so I fold my fabric as well like this and attach it I'm going to use the pin to secure it I cut it as well just follow the shape First thing I'm going to do here is to tidy up my edges. So what I'm going to do here is to I'm going to take out just one of it. You know this on back. Then I turn it like this, front side. Then I'm going to put it up like this. Then I'm going to stitch like this. So. Like I said, this is the neckline which I'm going to tidy up. So, this is the right side. So, I'm going to put this like so. I'll leave one, one and a half inch. Oh. One and a half inch. Yeah, one and a half inch. Then I'm just going to pin it together like this. See the way I paint it now, so I'm gonna flip it to, to the other side, like so. Then I'll repin it again. So now that this is repinned, so I'm just going to take half an inch on both sides. It's always better to make sure you measure your allowances because you don't want to have any mistake when you're on your dressmaking. 
half an inch. I'm going to take half an inch on the neckline because that's what I left for my sewing allowance. Half an inch and half an inch. So I'm going to do half an inch all through the neckline. So I've taken out my half, a, half an inch which I left my neckline. So I'm going to tidy up the edges. So I'm going to put it on my sewing machine like this. Then I'll start stitching. I'll just stitch round this way to this way. I have stitched it, I'm just going to cut off the just follow the shape and trim, trim, trim. So I'm just going to follow the shape and cut from there to this place. So now that I've cut it off, so the next thing I'm just going to Put in some cut there through this way. I'm gonna flip it on the other side like this. Then I'm going to stop stitch from there. And turn it. So I flip it on the other side. So basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop stitch through there, through there. So. This is what I this is the back of the neck now which I've tidy up. So the, I'm going to use this method for the for the other side of the uh blouse as well and for the front panel as well. So having tidy up the neck now, the next step is to attach my zip at the back. So what I'm going to do here is to take out my two inches which I place on my fabric for my zipper allowance. So my two inches I'm going to take it out because I always like to make sure. I mark at every allowances which I had. It's very important. So my two inches, I'm going to mark it out. So I'm just going to cut this side up for my zip. Because I'm trying to hide the zip as much as possible. So just going to make sure the length of my zip. This is 13.4, so 13.4, so my zip ends, so I'll start my, okay, as a zip at the back. The next thing for me to do is to attach the top the, the shoulder slope together, which I already paid. So remember, I left half an inch for my sewing alone at the top. So I'm going to bring another half an inch from there, half an inch from here, then I'll stitch it. And half an inch from here, I'll stitch it. So what I'm going to do here, just mark at the half an inch. I always like to mark a half an inch on my fabric because I like to get all my measurements right. Go to the side again. I'll bring it at the half an inch. I just follow the shape of the shoulder slope to break it out. So half an inch. So I'll stitch it now. So I've finished stitching the top. The next thing for me to do is to stick half an inch, which I left for the allowance, and fold it in. And stitch so I also do the same thing on this other side as well for the chain and stitch as you can see guys I finished stitching this side and this side the next thing for me to do is to tidy up the the ham hole so I'm going to stitch from this place the one inches I left behind I'm going to stitch here like this then stitch under then I'll attach it to the blouse, the ham. So I finished stitching both sides of the blouse and the other side. I was I hemmed the bottom, but I did just fold it in. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to add your sleeve to the blouse. I did a video on how to hide your sleeve to a blouse. You can have a look at that video where I took my time to explain how to add sleeve to your blouse. So what I'm simply going to do here, 
this is my sleeve here i've stitched it so i'm just going to open it up like so so what i did here i marked the middle to show that this is my midpoint of my sleeve and i'll turn the blouse upside down like this then just stick this in my sleeve in tuck it up make sure the middle of this then what i'll do next is then i'll now stitch it round take it round and stitch round so this is the handle the sleeve which i've attached the blast so i'm going to stitch half an inch take half an inch i'm going to stitch straight down all around the sleeve straight this way and this way this, this is the end of the tutorial i finished stitching the crop top you can use this to wear your trouser or your skirt but i prefer to wear it on trouser actually and that's the back my video and I hopefully I'll, I'll see you in my next video so one peace one love and bye for now